What's good everybody, I'm back again with another video and this time I'm bringing you game 5 of the South Alabama Dynasty. The Jaguars are taking on the Troy Trojans here today after that big road win against the Tennessee Volunteers up in Knoxville. A great overtime thriller. Will the Jaguars come back out and snag a victory against their rivals, the Troy Trojans? Or will they have a letdown after the huge win against the Tennessee Volunteers? Jaguar defense came out shaky last game. Can they come out and redeem themselves early in the drive? But Robinson gets a nice scramble, picks up a nice 13-yard gain on the play. Troy's going to run that spread offense just like South Alabama. So we're going to see a lot of plays today as Robinson hands it off to Franklin. Franklin breaks a tackle, and he picks up 20 yards. South Alabama has been struggling with these early kickoffs. As Brooks gets it on the screen, makes two men miss, and is able to pick up another first down. The Jaguar defense may need to set their alarm clocks earlier on game day. As he hands it off to Franklin again, makes a man miss, but Charles Harris is right there for the big hit. And the Jaguars are still on the ropes right now. First and ten, and they drop back, and he finds a man in the end zone for a touchdown. It is Jalen Harris. And it is six points for the Troy Trojans as they get on the board in less than a minute into the game. And news from the studio has been confirmed. The Tennessee Volunteers drop another game. That South Alabama defeat was terrible. And now they cannot bounce back from it. As the Jaguars get set to take this kickoff back, it is TJ Glover on the return from the two-yard line. He runs it out. He has some daylight. He crosses midfield and he gets to the 45 yard line of the Troy Trojans and Brandon Bridge drops back and hands it off to Houston. Houston gets the nice 11 yard run on the plate. Jaguars in the gun again. Bridge hands it off to Houston one more time. Houston picks up a nice eight yard gain. Now it's second and two. Bridge is getting the call from the coaches on the sideline. He fakes the play action looking for somebody open. And the interception is dropped by Goode, and it's third and two for the Jaguars. Brandon Bridge drops back, goes for his tight end, and West Saxton cannot get the completion as Pickett is right there to deflect the ball away. The Jaguars have to settle for a field goal, and Brandon McKee knocks down the three points for the Jaguars. The Jaguars really wanted seven points on that after the great return by TJ Glover, but they settle for three. And after that five-yard pickup by Kerry Franklin, it is now second and five. Robinson's back to drop. Robinson takes off once again, eluding the defensive end. He gets up the sideline and picks up a nice gain around 40 yards. And Robinson's dropping back again. Finds Harris right across the middle. Robinson and Harris has a great connection down in this area. As Robinson fakes the handoff once again, makes a man miss. Another huge run as he gets down inside of the 10-yard line. Corey Robinson is that dual threat quarterback, and he's making throws like that to Jalen Harris. Once again, hooking up in the end zone for six. And the Jaguars are on the ropes. It is 14-3. They're on the road. Can they bounce back? They have to score right here. And Brandon Bridge keeps it. Brandon Bridge loses a defender. Still forms another and picks up a nice 23-yard run on the play. Bridge back in the gun again. Dropping back, he finds Jeremy Jones across the middle for a Jaguar first down. They have to score this drive. As Bridge is taken down, a loss of three. Troy read the read option correctly, and now it's second and 13. Bridge is looking again. He finds West Saxton right across the middle for a pickup of nine yards. It's third and four for the Jaguars. 
He has TJ Glover in the backfield with him. He fakes the hand off to TJ Glover, and Brandon Bridge picks up the first down for the Jaguars. And now it's second and eight now, and Bridge is scanning. He finds a man wide open, but West Saxton cannot hold on as the ball is knocked loose. Now it's third and eight for the Jaguars. Brandon Bridge drops back. He finds Bryant Lavender for the first down. The Jaguars have life, and they have a chance to put some more points up on the board as it is second and nine. Bridge drops back once again. He finds Brian Lavender again, and it's a touchdown for the Jaguars, making it a 14-10 ball game. As you see Brian Lavender celebrating with his teammates. What a beautiful route. Just a nice fly route as McKee knocks on the extra point. Lavender's over there getting love from Coach Joey Jones. He's happy that his players have came to play today. Now it is up to the Jaguar defense to get a stop as B.J. Chitty catches it on the outside, but Charles Watson's right there to make the tackle. Robinson back in the gun again, looking across the field, seeing what he has. He tries to take off, but he's taken down by Jesse Kelly in the backfield for the sack. That was third and 14. Robinson has all day to throw as South Alabama only rushes three. And he finds a man wide open across the middle for a huge gain. A big hole in the cover two defense. And now he hands it off to Franklin. Franklin breaks a tackle. And he has a nice run to give them another first down. Back in the red zone once again. Now it's third and one. Robinson keeps the handoff. And he's going to find pay dirt as the Troy Trojans have scored on all three drives this game. What can the Jaguars do? As you see, Brandon Bridge hands it off to Kendall Houston for a nice pickup. Brandon Bridge drops back once again. Tries to go for it all right here, and Corey Bastida cannot come down with it. The offense has to make the drive last a little longer, hoping that their defense can recuperate and get it together and find a game plan that can stop Robinson. But they failed to do so, and now they have to punt on fourth down. Troy has the ball again with a chance to score one more time right before the half to make it a 24 to, or 28 to 10 lead. But Robinson drops back again. And he finds a man wide open. No one near him as Brooks makes the catch and gets the first down. They're in South Alabama territory. Robinson drops back again. Seeing what he has. But Clifton Cruz is right there to take him down for the sack. A positive play for the Jaguar defense. It could be what they needed. As Franklin tries to cut it outside. But Enrique Williams is right there to wrap him up. Third and 17. All they have to do is not give up the first down and they'll get this ball back and Cruz comes up once again with a huge tackle. And now the Jaguar offense will have the ball with just a minute and change left in the half. As you see Kendall Houston gets the huge run. And now Bridge keeps it on the option. He's not gonna pitch it. He's gonna take the first down and get down to the ground. Second and eight now for Bridge as he drops back. Seeing what he has. He finds Brian Lavender once again wide open. He has found a connection with his go-to receiver this game. That touchdown last week in Tennessee was great as he drops back, delivers the Hail Mary jump ball. It's a touchdown to Corey Bastida. The six foot three wide receiver goes up and gets it. And the Jaguars are only down four at halftime. And now they come out in the second half. Brandon Bridge has it. He gets a nice carry on the play. The Jaguars have a chance to come out here after they've been trailing since the first minute of the game. Houston gets it on the handoff, makes a couple men miss, and he picks up 10 yards on the play. And now it's first and 10 for the Jaguars. Brandon Bridge looking, seeing what he has, and he finds the wrong team as the linebacker is right there to pick it off. And the Jaguars give up a golden opportunity to take the lead, and the Troy Trojans have the ball on the South Alabama side of the field. The ball is swung out to the wide receiver on the screen. He cuts out the field, but Stephen Fuller is right there to force the fumble. And Charles Harris is right there to recover it. And the Jaguars are back on offense. 21-17. Bridge finds Lavender on the play. And that interception is a thing of the past as he gets a nice 13-yard gain right there. He gets the call from the sideline, and he drops back. And he gets sacked on the play as he cannot find an open receiver. Now it's second and long. Bridge finds Lavender once again, making up the yardage that was lost on the sack. Now it's third and nine. Bridge drops back, and he throws it to the flats. It's almost intercepted, but TJ Glover is knocked out of bounds. 
for a loss on the play, and they have to punt. South Alabama are dwindling away their opportunities, but Charles Watson makes the big tackle on the wide receiver screen, making it second and 11, and Robinson hands it off, and Franklin has daylight as he gets a nice run. The Jaguar defense cannot stop Franklin or Robinson here today as Robinson finds a man on the outside, but it's short of the first down and it's fourth and four. And they decide to fake the punt and he is taken down short of the first down marker and the Jaguars have life once again. Can they do anything with it this time as Brandon Bridge picks up a first down for the Jaguars, first and 10. Bridge looks, Bridge gets sacked once again. The Jaguars are taking sack after sack on each drive, putting themselves in bad position. But Brian Lavender once again bails him out as he gets 10 yards on the play, making it a reasonable third down. As Bridge drops back, he finds Jeremy Jones right across the middle for a Jaguar first down. South Paul making its appearance in the video, and Brandon Bridge has it again, cuts up the field. He gets a nice nine and a half yards on the play. And Bridge hands it off to Houston now. Houston, shifty feet, getting a nice first down. Bridge drops back once again, tries to throw the screen to TJ Glover, but he is taken down before he can get going, and it's second and 11. Bridge fakes the handoff, he keeps it again. Bridge gets it down inside of the five yard line, and the Jaguars have it on third and one. Rush Hendricks moves into motion. Kendall Houston gets just enough for the first down. And on first and goal, Kendall Houston punches it in for the Jaguars, giving them the first lead of the ball game. Late in the fourth quarter, these cardiac kids can come out of here with another victory as Robinson back in the gun again, handing it off. And his running back is making people miss as he gets another first down. And Kerry Franklin cannot be stopped today. And now it's first and 10. He hands it off to Franklin once again. Breaks off a tackle and he bounces it outside and he gets another huge gain. And now they're in Jaguar territory once again. This time they have points on their mind as he hands it off to Franklin one more time. Franklin cuts it up the field, gets another first down. Kerry Franklin has decided to put the team on his back as Terrell Brigham comes in and makes the tackle. And it's second and 10 and it's a fumble as Robinson loses the ball off the back of Franklin's helmet, the Trojans are able to keep possession. Now it's third and 10, and the Troy Trojans come out and deliver a screenplay. He's got blockers in front of him, but he goes out of bounds just short of the first down marker. And the Trojans, who are at home, decided to kick the field goal instead of going for it and converting. We have a tie ball game, and it's 24 all. One minute and change left. The Jaguars, the Cardiac Kids, have it once again as Bridge keeps it on the option. He gets a first down for the Jaguars. Bridge drops back. He finds TJ Glover on the screen, who's able to bounce it outside. Pick up another first down for the Jaguars. They're on the Trojan side of the field now. As Bridge fakes the handoff, he finds Jeremy Jones right across the middle for another first down. The Jaguars are just yards away from being in field goal range. As Bridge has it, he's seeing what he has. He has nothing and he throws away a wise decision. Now it's third and 12, make or break time. He finds West Saxton right at the 21 yard line. Jaguars are in great field position to get a field goal and get the victory. Now Kendall Houston gets the carry and he's gonna line it up in the middle of the field for the Jaguars to kick the field goal. Does McKee have ice water in his veins? He has a chance and it looks good and it is good. The Jaguars get out of Troy with a three point win. As time expires, reminiscent of the two lane game, the Jaguars are still undefeated. Y'all be good. I'll have another video out real soon. Make sure you drop a like, comment down below, and subscribe if you're not a subscriber. It takes me a long time to make these videos. Y'all be good.